Welcome to my lecture online. It may be useful to compare the hyperbolic functions to the trigonometric functions when we take derivatives. Notice we have the hyperbolic sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant versus the sine, the cosine, the tangent, the cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Now when we take the derivative, notice it looks almost identical except for two things. What are the two things? Well, when we take the derivative of the hyperbolic cosine, we get the positive hyperbolic sign that is not the case in the case of the trigonometric function. Now here, when we take the hyperbolic, the derivative of the hyperbolic tangent and cotangent, we get similar results for the trigonometric functions. And again, there's a difference when we take the derivative of the hyperbolic secant of, of uh, x, because that way we get the negative here where we don't get a negative, we get a positive over here. So those are the only two differences. Everything else looks virtually identical, be it the hyperbolic functions versus the trigonometric functions. So that may help with the memorization of how to take the derivatives so you don't always have to work it out from scratch. And that's how it's done.